Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be what is in my hospital bag. I'm going to be showing you guys everything I packed in my hospital bag for uh, when I give birth to my baby boy. I am actually 37 and a half weeks along right now, so baby boy will be here soon. I'm actually going to lay everything out for you guys and just show you guys that way instead of holding it up and everything, but I will show you guys the bag that I got. So this is the bag I got. I just ordered it from Target. I believe it was like $35 or so. Um, and I have a ton of stuff in here. I definitely overpacked, but I'd rather be overpacked than underpacked. Um, and I mean, you never know if you're going to be there just for two days or if you're going to be there for five or anything like that. So I just wanted to be prepared. I will also be doing a what is in my baby's like hospital diaper bag as well. So keep an eye out for that video. So yeah, if you guys want to see what is in my hospital bag, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I took everything out of the bag. So here's a little overview. I just set everything out on the floor. So this is everything that I have packed in my hospital bag. So starting right here, I just have some pajamas. I actually have one nursing gown that I actually just got from Gap, which is here on top. And then underneath those... I have a PJ Salvage set from Nordstrom that I got. Um, it's just a nursing friendly um, pajama top and then just some black um, pajama pants. And this is actually a nursing uh, pajama gown as well that I got off of Gap. So then right here, I couldn't decide which robes I wanted to bring, so I actually just brought two of them. I got both of these off of pink blush and this one's just a black one with like floral on it and this one is just gray with this lace white detail around. Moving over here I just have two black nursing tank tops. One of them I got off of Gap and then the other one I just got from Target. Both of them are just black. They both have the built-in bra and it just like snaps down to make it a nursing tank top. And then right here I have two nursing bras. This one is just the one that like clips like that. I got this from Motherhood Maternity. And I've actually been wearing these for the last few months and they're just like the comfiest sports bra ever. And then this one, I'll show you what it looks like. This one is actually a sleep nursing bra, so you just pull it down. This is the Kindred Bravely brand. Um, so this one I will just be like sleeping in and stuff like that. So I have that one and that one that I'll be bringing. I also brought two pairs of socks. This one is just a regular pair of socks in case my feet get cold. And then these, let me show you what they look like. Sorry, I'm trying to do two hands. These I actually ordered off of Etsy. If I can find the site, I will have it linked down below for you guys. Um, but I'm going to wear these during like delivery. And it just says, it's a boy. I just thought these were so cute. They are the hospital like non-skid socks as well. So you don't have to wear the ugly ones that they give you. So that's what I'm bringing for socks. Here, this is actually my going home outfit. Um... Super simple, nothing cute, nothing tight, because I know everybody tells me your body is obviously, your stomach's not going to go down right away, and you just want to wear comfy clothes, home, don't wear anything too tight. Um, so what I'm bringing, and also I don't know what the weather's going to be like, because I am due October 2nd, so I don't know if it's going to be like a little chilly out, or if it'll still be warm, because it, I mean, every day is different here. Um... So I have this American Eagle, just this like um, soft t-shirt in black. And then this is just a big, soft, um, oversized cardigan that I got from American Eagle as well. It's in this like blush pink color. I don't know if it's really picking up much on camera. And then I have these. These are just make and model um, jogger sweatpants that I got from Nordstrom. So I'm going to be wearing those. And this t-shirt if it's warm out and if it's a little bit chilly then I'm just gonna throw the sweater on over top of it and that's just gonna be my going home outfit my shoes I'll be wearing my sandals to the hospital I have those by the front door and I'm gonna wear those because I'm gonna they're gonna be my shower sandals as well so I'll probably just throw those on wear those home as well 
Okay, so then up here, I just got two pairs of granny panties. These ones are from uh, Victoria's Secret. I know I probably shouldn't have bought nice underwear. These ones are from Fruit of the Loom, but they're not very comfortable. I washed them and tried them on just to see, and I wasn't really a fan, but I'm still going to bring them in case I ruin them. But I did order some more uh, from Victoria's Secret that are way more comfortable. So I'm bringing those two pairs of granny panties. And then up there, I know that the hospital will give you pads, but I wanted to bring my own. So I have about three pads there. They're just the always like um, maxi pads. And then right there, I have two Depends or adult diapers, whatever you want to call them. I just heard it's good to have those. Um, you obviously have a lot of bleeding after delivery. And those actually can soak up a lot more than a pad and you won't have to change a pad so often. So I am going to bring two of those. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not, um, but I just thought it'd be a good idea to have them. And then right here in this little bag, I have um, some disposable breast pads and then like the washable ones from Kindred Bravely. So I'm going to bring those along with me. And then I also have this Lansano uh, nipple cream as well. So then right here, I am bringing my own towel and washcloth. Um, if I shower, I just want to have my own. And then here, these are slippers that I actually got from Target. I showed them in um, like two videos ago. It was just like a small little Target haul. And these are the comfiest slippers. I love them. So I'm going to just have these just to walk around the hospital and just slip on if my feet get cold or anything like that. So I'm bringing those. These two bags, this is like my toiletries and makeup and stuff. So this little Sephora bag, I forgot which stuff I had in here. Okay, so I'll actually dump this all out. Okay, so I just took everything out of that bag just so I can show you guys everything I have. So I brought a few bobby pins, some hair ties, um, a little mini hairbrush, a disposable razor just in case if I do shower and need to shave or anything. And then I just got one of these like travel size um, deodorants from Target. I also have a travel size body wash, lotion, a shampoo and conditioner, and then my toothpaste and toothbrush. Okay, so then what I had in this bag, I just laid everything out for you guys as well. I brought some Neutrogena uh, makeup removing wipes. I just got these Kleenex wet wipes. I just thought, um, you know, if I needed to like wipe, wipe my body or my armpits or anything down, these would be good just to wipe down and feel a little bit fresher. Then I just brought some dry shampoo. And for skincare, I just kept it super simple. And I have my Travel Size Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. I also brought a fresh soy face cleanser. These facial radiance pads, I just brought a little tiny spray toner. Um, this is the fresh face cream. This is another just like ultra repair cream. I brought a chapstick because everybody says you want to make sure you have chapstick. Um, this is just a tart eye cream and then I have a spoolie because I do have eyelash extensions. And then for makeup, also keeping it super simple. This might not be simple to some people. But just because people will be visiting and you just want to feel better, um, I wanted to bring some makeup. So I just brought this Tarte Facial Spray. Um, this is just a tinted moisturizer from Bare Minerals that I'm bringing. So I'm not bringing a foundation or anything like that. My Laura Mercier Concealer. This Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Um, just my Laura Mercier uh, Setting Powder, the Translucent Powder. My Too Faced bronzer, just two brushes, a beauty blender, and then I also have a Tarte uh, mini mascara, and then my Benefit Gimme Brow. So that's everything in that bag that I'm bringing. So again, this is just an overview of everything I'm bringing. Obviously, I don't have some stuff all packed yet because I can't really pack it until we're like leaving. I'm just going to grab it on the way to the hospital, like my phone charger. I also have my birth plan that I have in my purse. 
So in my purse, I'm just going to have um, throw my phone charger in there. I have my birth plan. And I'm bringing some gum. We're also bringing snacks and stuff in Brian's hospital bag. He just has a change of clothes, a few toiletries, and like toothbrush, toothpaste, um, and like deodorant and stuff. So we're going to put some snacks in his bag. I am also bringing my own pillow and blanket. I, like I said before, when I go to the hospital, I'm actually going to wear sandals. So I have those sitting by the front door because you do need to bring like shower sandals. So I'm just going to bring those. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super excited for baby boy to be here. He will be here. Well, my due date is in almost two weeks, so it's getting super close. I feel super prepared. I don't know. I mean, do you guys think that I overpacked? I'm not really sure. Some people may think it's excessive. I don't think it's that much stuff, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.